everyone, my name is Gracie Mar, your contestant number 10. I am from a beautiful town called Tamanglong district in Manipur. I go to Independent Church of India, ICI. Respected judges and my fellow contestant, today I am going to deliver a speech on the topic, the beauty of the cross. When we ask people what does the cross really mean, we came to know the fact that the cross means different things to diverse people. For the Jews, the cross is where criminals are nailed for the punishment and thus for the death on the cross is known as a shameful death. But for others, the beauty of the cross means wearing around your necks, using it as your bookmark, or carving it in your tombstone. But as for the Christian, it is completely different. The true meaning of the beauty of the cross refers to the suffering and death of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. There are various elements why the cross of the Christ has its remarkable beauty in it. The cross is beautiful because, in the first point, the cross is where Christ saved the sinners from God's wrath against sin. In Romans 3.21, it says that, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, which means that we all are sinners by nature or by choice because of the sin inherited from Adam and the sin we commit because of our fallen nature. The consequence of sin is a spiritual death. However, we have a good news. In Romans 5, 9 says, We are now justified by His blood. Much more shall we be saved by Him from the wrath of God against sin. Thus, through the work of Christ on the cross, we are now saved by Him from God's wrath. Thus, this reveals the beauty of the cross. Secondly, the cross is where God demonstrates His love for the sinners. In John 3.16 we see that, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish but have an eternal life. God reveals His love by sending His only Son to die for us so that we can have an eternal life just by faith in the complete work of the cross. This reveals the beauty of the cross. Thirdly, the cross is where believers were made righteous. In 2 Corinthians 5.21 says that God met Him who has no sin to be saved for us so that in Him we might become righteousness of God. Which means that, through the cross, Jesus exchanged our sin for His perfect righteousness, so that one day we can stand before God and He will see not our sin, but the holy righteousness of Lord Jesus. This reveals the beauty of the cross. Fourthly, the cross is where believers receive forgiveness of sin and reconciliation with God. In Colossians 1, 21 and 22 taught us that, through the work of Jesus on the cross, we are no longer alienated or called to be the enemies of God. We are now forgiven, transformed and reconciled. Therefore, rather than seeing as the enemies of God, we are now called as friends. This reveals the beauty of the cross. And then fifthly, the cross is where believers receive hope and peace of God. The cross provides hope that guaranteed believers eternal life. As Romans 8, 38 and 39 says that, For I am convinced that neither death nor life will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Thus, this disclosed the remarkable beauty of the cross. Eventually, the beauty of the cross is founded on the death of Lord Jesus Christ. The cross is said to be beautiful because the cross is where Christ saved the sinners from God's wrath. And secondly, 
The cross is where God demonstrates His love for the sinners. Thirdly, the cross is where believers were made righteous. And fourthly, the cross is where believers receive forgiveness of sin and reconciliation with God. And lastly, but not the least, the cross is where believers receive hope and peace with God. Thus, all these elements reveals the beauty of the cross. Thank you.